Today I'm bringing you guys a very special video on, uh, on, on a player from my favorite team, from the team I followed for the longest time, for the team that I will always follow, my Green Bay Packers. Um, I've never felt like this about a player before. Um, I, I've never really wanted to see a player go as much as I wanted to see Jermichael Finley leave. Um, I'm going to um, break a few things down. Some people who aren't familiar with Jermichael Finley, you know, fans from other teams. First thing, everybody recognizes Jermichael Finley, and here's the whole argument about drop balls. Um, Jermichael Finley drops a lot of passes. He drops a lot of passes, you know, perhaps even on crucial downs where it might be third down. We need a uh, big play, and the ball is definitely, the pass is definitely going to be a first down. If Finley catches it, he doesn't catch it, it's, it's, it's a drop pass. Now, uh, it's gotten to the point where whenever Aaron Rodgers throws to Jermichael Finley, I expect the drop pass, and if he catches it, I'm like, all right, good. But um, it's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. It's It's too much. And uh, people are like, all right, when is he going to leave? When is his, When are the Packers going to make a move? I hope they do. Um, another thing about him, and uh, some of you guys are like, you're judging him off of a celebration. Um, yeah, because it's a bit excessive. After every single first down, he does a crazy, like, he almost looks like a freaking rooster. Does one of these or something, does a first down. It's too much. I mean, I know we all love Donald Driver and Green Bay. We love him. Every single Packer fan loves Double D. You know, he does a little shake with the first down. That That's cool. But but Jermichael Finley kind of takes it to a whole nother level. It's ridiculous. I mean, just enough is, I mean, stop. You know, get a first down, give the ball to the ref, go back to the huddle. On oh, a little note, last year on Twitter after they lost to the Giants, not even 24 hours removed, he's asking people what kind of shark movie to watch. Dude, get off of Twitter, please. You know, what kind of movie should I watch right now? You know, I'm kind of bored. 24, not even 24 hours removed from losing to the Giants in the playoffs. And he's injury prone. I'm going to get to two big things in a minute. I'm not even, I'm just getting started. But he's injury prone. I mean, he's, right now he's, he's a bit banged up. I mean, people say he's got all the talent in the world. He's just, you know, he hasn't showed it. He hasn't exhibited it yet. Um, I'm, I'm, I say we move on from Finley. Two big things with Finley in this so far in the season. I'm gonna read a few things off for you. First of all, his agent referring to Jay Cutler after the Packers had beaten the Bears in Week Two. Uh, he he had tweeted something about Cutler and he and he finished off with, "There's a major difference." and drop-off in leadership from Manning, Breeze, and Brady to the next best QBs in the league. A fan, I believe it was, asked him, well, why, did you read, uh, why did you leave Aaron Rodgers out? And he followed by, he said, Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback. He isn't a great leader. There's a major difference. Leaders take the blame and make everyone better. He doesn't. Really? Did you re did he really say that? And then the following day, Finley's like, "Yo, I'm not. That that's him. That's not me." Well, I think where there's smoke, there's fire because I mean, that's your agent. That's the person representing you. You chose that person. I mean, there's got to be a little bit of something in you in, inside of you that believes that, Jermichael Finley. That's I mean, come on now. That's the quarterback. That's the MVP of the 20, 2011 season right there that you're talking about. He said, you said, what did he say? He said, uh, leaders take the blame and make everyone better. He doesn't. Really? Aaron Rodgers doesn't make everyone better? Because if you threw Graham Harrell in there, I guarantee you he'd make everybody worse. Which says a lot about Aaron Rodgers. And Skip Bell, oh, he's a system quarterback. Is he really? Because Matt Flynn had one good game last season. He's a system quarterback all of a sudden. Everybody wants to hate. There's a lot of haters out there on Aaron Rodgers. I love how Aaron Rodgers... Handles himself. It's beautiful how he handles He says, hey, you know what? You guys can say what you want to say. You know, he's a humble guy. You got to love it. The, the way Aaron Rodgers handles a lot of this crap that he takes from people. Like his like his uh, uh, tight ends agent. There's another comment Finley just had uh, not, even, not even a few days ago. Aaron Rodgers is a great QB. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Wrong comment. He says, 
this this was referring to why the offense isn't clicking. He says, I think he's playing good, but a lot, but like I said, this is a team sport, and it's going to take all 11 of us on the field when it's uh, when he's on the field with us. Now, he, if he stopped there, I would have been okay with it. But then he follows. I don't put it all on him. It's this receiving core. We're dropping balls. It's his linemen not blocking for him. He's got a lot of th- uh, a lot to think about. I would be scared too if I was getting hit like that. To me, it, what it sounds like, Jermichael Finley's pointing a lot of fingers, pointing fingers to six receivers: Greg Jennings, even though he's been hurt, uh, Jordy Nelson, James Jones, Randall Cobb, Donald Driver, um, Boykin, I think is his last name, our six-string receiver. And then all of our tight ends. I'm not even going to name them. Because you said you grouped up your receiving, the receiving core. When Finley, you're prob- you are dropping more balls than anybody else. And you want to point fingers at the offensive lineman. Yes, it's been bad. But don't point fingers at your teammates. That's the wrong thing to do. And then, and then you follow up by saying Aaron Rodgers is scared and whatnot. I don't even want to just... Look, Finley to me, he's, he's, a, he's a nutcase, man. You just get him out of Green Bay. DJ Smith is a very talented backup tight end that we have who has a lot of talent. I believe he could be a starter. Jermichael Finley needs to go. He needs to get traded. Give him to a team that doesn't have too many weapons. I mean, seriously. I know this video is probably a bit long, but I have to get this out of the way because Jermichael Finley is a... I do not like how he fits in our in our, culturally in our system. He's not a Green Bay Packer. That's not how a Green Bay Packer acts. You know, usually a Green Bay Packer, humble, has nothing to say. Media wants to, you know, make a huge, th- blow blow things out of proportion. Green Bay Packer keeps things, you know, calm, collected. Just like Aaron Rodgers, just like Donald Driver. Just like, you know, a few other guys, a, a bunch of other guys that, that we've known to have on our team. Jermichael Finley doesn't fit that criteria. He doesn't fit that that, that Green Bay Packer mentality. He needs to go. Let me know what you guys think. Throw your comments down. If you're a Packer fan, if you're any other fan of that matter, would you want him on your team? Um, would you want to see Jermichael Finley suit up for, for the St. Louis Rams, for the Miami Dolphins, for the Philadelphia Eagles, for anybody? Throw your throw your comments down. I really want to know what you guys think about him. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. I'm out.